us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Mathematics Paper 2. So now we are looking at question 11 in this uh, 11th episode. So let us look at question A of 11. The diagram shows the points P 20 degrees north, 80 degrees east, then Q 40 degrees south, then 80 degrees east, and R 40 degrees south, 30 degrees east on the surface of the earth. Take pi as 3.142 and radius equals 63.70 kilometers, which is basically 6,370. Loma numeral 1, find the difference in longitudes between point R and D Q. Then Loma numeral 2, calculate the distance at PQ in kilometers. Then Loma numeral 3, find the length of the circle of latitude 40 degrees south in kilometers. So basically, we start with Loma numeral 1. So I'm going to just answer it on the same page, the space here. So this is Loma numeral 1. Then um, the difference in longitudes between points R and Q. So R is this one, then we have this Q. So what you notice, because these, they are great circles, so what we find, the difference, what we do is just find the angle between these two points. So if this is the center, then we are looking for this angle. So this angle is basically the difference between these two. So because R is 30 degrees east, then Q is on the a longitude which is 80 degrees east. So they are in the same half of the earth. So in this case, they are all east. So if they are all in the east, you subtract. If one is in the east, one is in the west, you add the two. That's in the principle. In this case, what we are going to do is we subtract this, which is close greenish meridian, with zero degrees from this one, which is far. So it's 80 degrees minus 30 degrees. Then we are going to end up 50 degrees. A difference in a longitudes between point R and Q. Then uh, we look at Loma numeral 2, calculate the distance PQ in kilometers. So we are talking about this distance. Let me just uh, clean up this one so that we are able to see clearly as I look at these two points. So it's basically this distance we are interested in, which is in PQ. So because we are moving along at the great circle, we just need to find this angle which is in subtending this uh, basically arc. Then once we know this angle, then we are going to use uh, this formula, which is Q, we equal this angle, which is theta over 360, then multiply by 2 pi r. That's the formula we are going to use. So how do we find this angle? Similarly, one is in the southern hemisphere one is in the northern hemisphere so we assume this is the equator which is zero degrees what we do is basically since this is north p is on the 20 degrees north this is 40 degrees south in this case to find in this uh, theta you add this two so it will be basically 14 plus 20 we end up with 60 degrees so 60 degrees is basically the difference in the latitude on which p lies and in the latitude on which Q lies. So once you do that, basically now it becomes easier. What you do is PQ is equal to basically 60 over 360, then multiply by basically 2, multiply by 42, then multiply by basically 6370. You simplify that one to be basically 1 over 6, multiply by 2, multiply by 3.142. Then multiply by 6370. Then when you simplify that, you are going to end up with basically 6671.51. Then to our three significant figures, this is basically 6670 kilometers as basically the answer. Then we move to a Loman numero 3, which is find the length of the circle of latitude 
40 degrees south in kilometers. So this length is basically nothing but the circumference of this circle. So what we do is basically we just use the standard formula for the circumference except that basically we multiply this by cos. So what we are going to have is basically circumference is equal to basically 2 pi r then multiply by cos basically theta. This theta is the, uh, the latitude. So because this is uh, 40 degrees south so that becomes uh, the 40 degrees. So we are going to have basically 2 multiplied by 3.142 then multiply by 6370 then multiply by cos 40 degrees because of that 40 degrees south. Then when we multiply that one we are going to end up with basically 30,664.05 then uh, to three significant figures we are going to end up with um, 30,000 702 are uh, basically three significant figures. So basically, this is how you answer question A. So let us move to our question B. Question B, the diagram shows a bean B, C, D, E, which was made by cutting off a smaller cone A, D, E from the cone A, B, C. Take pi to be 3.142. Given that AF equals 9 centimeters, BG equals 8 centimeters, EF equals 3 centimeters, and GF equals H centimeters. Calculate them. Loma numeral 1 value of H, Loma numeral 2 volume of the bean B, C, D, E. So basically, let me just uh, find a Loma numero 1 from here. So uh, the principle that we are going to use to answer Loma numero 1 is uh, basically the fact that um, this line GB is in an horizontal line because this is in 90 degrees. Then if that's an horizontal line and this is also a radius, it means this also is in 90 degrees. Then uh, this angle and this angle, they are the same. So if those angles are the same, this tells us basically the ratio of this radius, which is GB, to the height GM is equal to the ratio of FE to FM. That's what it tells us. So this basically is implying that uh, the height of a small cone divided by the radius of a small cone must equal to basically the height of the large cone divided by the radius of the large cone, like that. So, what's the height of a small cone? You see, basically, these are 9 centimeters. So, it will be 9, basically, centimeters. We divide by um, the radius, which is uh, basically 3 centimeters. Then, uh, equals the height of a large cone. So, it will be basically this H plus 9, because it's this height. So it's in h plus 9 divided by the radius which is in 8 centimeters. So all these are in centimeters. So what you discover is the centimeters are basically cancels out and you're going to factor out the centimeters there. At the end of the day, this is the same as just writing as 9 over 3 equals h plus 9 over 8. Then at this point we do cross multiplication. Um, we are going to have basically 9 multiplied by 8 equals 3 multiplied by h plus 9. Then we divide by 3, you divide by 3, you discover that uh, 3 into 3 is a 1, 3 into 9 is a 3. 3 times 8 is 24 equals basically a 3 and 3 cancels. So we are going to end up with h plus 9. Then uh, this tells me 24 minus 9 equals h. So basically H equals uh, 15. So 15 is the value of this uh, H. Then having done that, what do we know now? What's the value of HL, which is the height of the large cone? It's basically 15 plus 9, which is this uh, 24 we had here. 
So basically this is just 24. So 15 plus this 9, we get this 24. Then uh, we know the height of um, the smaller one is basically 9. Then radius of um, a smaller one is 3. Then radius of um, the large one is um, uh, basically 18 centimeters. So all these are in centimeters. That's uh, basically what we know. Okay. Roman numeral 2. Volume of the bean B, C, D, E. So basically, if I were to find the volume of uh, B, C, D, what we need to do is basically we need to find uh, basically the volume of the entire big uh, cone. Then from that we subtract the volume of uh, the smaller cone, which is uh, basically this one up to here. That's what we need uh, to do. Now, generally we know that um, basically the volume of a cone is given by one third multiplied by pi, then radius square, then multiplied by the height. Thus, the volume of a cone. So let us call this uh, for the small cone to be a volume S, then uh, the large one, the entire one to be basically the volume large. So to find uh, this one, which we are looking for, which we shall call volume B, which is the volume of a bin. So this tells me that uh, basically volume of a bin is equal to a volume of a large cone minus a volume of a small cone. So this is uh, what we are going to use. So uh, let us just go to uh, the new uh, page. So volume of a bin now equals to uh, what's uh, the volume of a a large a cone. So this is uh, standard. Then you need to uh, know what's uh, the radius of um, a large a cone. You see basically 18 uh, centimeters, which is uh, nothing but uh, basically this one. So um, what we have now is uh, radius large. We square it, then multiply by the height large. Then we have um, one a third pi then radius square small then height small then we can factor out what is common here so that we don't waste time like that then we're going to have a uh, one third then pi out then we're going to have a uh, radius square large then height large then radius square small then height small like that then uh, we can proceed one third multiplied by 3.142 when you start substituting What's at uh, this one? So this one is uh, basically 8 square, then multiply by uh, 24, then minus uh, this one is uh, 3 square, then multiply by 9. Remember, these uh, values are coming from here. These are the values we are replacing. Once we do that, uh, basically just uh, simplifying 1 third multiply by uh, 3.142, then we multiply by when uh, basically we simplify this, we use our calculator, which is 8 squares, which is 64 times 24. We are going to get a 1536, then minus a 3 times 3, which is 9. 9 times 9 is basically uh, 81. Then we do that uh, at this point, you see, uh, 1 third multiplied by a 3.142, then multiply by uh, basically 1,400 and uh, 55. Then uh, once we use a calculator and simplify this, we are going to uh, end up with uh, basically 1,523.87 centimeters cubic. But remember we have to give uh, those answers that, that are not exact to uh, three significant figures. So we are going to have 1,520 uh, centimeter cubic as uh, our final answer. So this is uh, basically how you answer question 11 to get uh, the full max. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this uh, video to be very helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel. Once you go to our channel, we'll discover that we've got uh, so much content for you. You'll notice that we've got uh, mathematics, uh, physics, and chemistry. We've also got a section that is uh, 
arranged by topics. You could be a finding challenges with a specific topic. This is the best section for you.